let's take a moment and try and determine the relationship types and what the business rules are for those relationship types using our examples of our small college to where we have our relationship and the data and the relationship between the two. Notice that we have entities of course, class, enroll, and student. Inside our data, we have students for the data number, the class codes, the enrollment semester, and the enroll grade. Notice that we have added the enroll semester to our enroll entity so that we can determine what semester each class is taken. So the simplest way to illustrate the relationship between the enroll class and the student is to look at the data and examine the table, the contents, and compare the attributes to the relational schema. Naturally, when we look at our data in our enroll grade, when a student enrolls, they have no grade at that point. So there has been an NA placed. When at the end of the semester, when they do have a grade, it will be updated. Notice also that under the student number, student 321452, they're taking three classes. Student 324257 is taking two classes. And our last student, 324282, is taking one class. So our records are not unique at this point in time. Now, if you notice the relationships between our course and class, one course generates many classes. One class can have many students. So when we look at this, we all have, all the entities have a one-to-many relationship. So let's look at these one more time. A course generates a class. One course can generate many classes, and each class is generated by one course. Now, our class is referenced inside our enrollment. One class can be referenced in enrollment many times. Each individual enrollment references one class. Now notice that in our enrollment, enrollment in a class can have many students. However, a student can only register for one class code each semester. They cannot register for two classes of the same code in the same semester. So for instance, student 321452 cannot register for their accounting class twice in spring 2017, only once. So our student is shown in the enrollment. One student can be shown in enrollment many times. But again, the student can only enroll in a single class by the ID once. So looking at the relationship, those are also all the business rules that should apply whenever we're creating these relationships. Let's go back now and start looking at our next assignment.